So, welcome to the West Kingdom Virtual Choir. This particular video is a guide for you to learn exactly what you need to do in order to participate and make it all work. I'll point out first that most of the things I'm going to say are general guidelines, not absolute requirements. Not everybody has the equipment, not everybody has the facility to do everything in an optimal way, and that's okay. Do what you can, get me the files anyway. I'd rather you participate and not have it be quite perfect than not have you participate, because we're doing this for the fun of it, so please do. Uh, so several things. Um, before you try to record any of these things, please warm up. Just... We always warm up as a choir, as a group, and I know it bores the heck out of everybody, but your voice will really thank you uh, once you've warmed up a little bit. Uh, if you don't bother warming up, then you're just going to have to scratch the first two or three tracks that you record anyway until your voice is warmed up. So go ahead and get that done in advance. So the place that you want to record, you're going to want to go for as little noise as you possibly can. Um, this room's pretty quiet. I've got one computer here that's got its fans going, um, but uh, I've temporarily turned off the furnace, which I'm sure I will forget to turn back on again. So that doesn't kick in. Um, and fortunately, there's not too much, there's no real traffic around here. On the other hand, if you have a helicopter come over, you might want to bail out, but sometimes a car going by occasionally. As long as it's not too objective, don't worry too much about it, but try to find something that's a place that's reasonably quiet. Um, the type of room that you are recording in matters. I am recording this in a modest-sized office uh, that has not been yet acoustically treated. Um, I suggest that we, well, let me say it this way. We tend to like to sing in the bathroom. We just like to sing in the shower because it reflects so much. That is the last place you want to record in. I don't want to hear the room. I want to hear you. So the bathroom's bad. This office is okay. Uh, you can hear my voice in, echoing in it. Um, if you have the luxury of having access to a walk-in closet, that's great. Being surrounded by clothing that absorbs all the sound, that's the way to do it, if you can. Um, but the other thing that has to do with it uh, is the distance from your voice to the microphone involved. Uh, my phone is on a stand, and it's a little over arm's length, so about a little over two feet. And you can hear how the room sounds, but if I actually come over here and get a lot closer to the microphone for just a moment, you'll hear that I you hear more of me and less of the room, as you do when I'm back here. So for that reason, Whatever mic you use, we'll get to that, you want to keep it reasonably close by. You want to have it at about a uh, six inch distance, eight inch distance maybe from your mouth and you want it up high. You want it from mouth level to eye level. That works well. If you have it down too far, you'll hear your nose. Actually, don't want to do that. Um, and I realize that in all the music videos, they've got the microphone right here. Uh, that's so you can see them. They have to do a lot of work to get that to actually sound good because it really should be up here. Um, now, so let's see here. The microphone wait, we just talked about. You can use your phone. You can use your cell phone. Believe it or not, these things are perfectly adequate quality for um, what we're trying to do here. Uh, we don't need a fancy mic like this. If you have a better mic, if you have a headset mic, if you have a desktop mic, feel free to use it. Don't feel that it's absolutely required. That distance thing is a little more important. Um, than the type of mic. If you can switch, if you have a nicer microphone and you can switch the pattern uh, from spherical to cardioid, if you see a cardioid possibility um, or a heart-shaped, hence the name cardioid, um, possibility, if you can, switch that on. Uh, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Uh, other things. Time of day. Um, if you try to record too early in the morning, your voice is generally not going to be ready for it. Um, early afternoon works really well for me. I realize when the choir is all together in the evening, uh, we work, uh, that's when we have available to work. Uh, you might find that that works well for your voice. Try it at different times of day if you have the option and see what works best for you. And, uh, oh, volume. That's very important. Uh, to go along with volume, here's how this works. You have to listen to the guide tr video, of course. But you can't have that sound come onto your microphone. So what do you do? You can use the cheapest earbuds you want. You can use some high quality studio monitor headphones. You can use all kinds of things, but they have to be headphones. So 
I tend to record with one earbud in the ear and the other ear open so I can hear my voice in the room. I suggest you start with that. If you have nice headphones, cover one ear, move it back behind your other ear so you can hear yourself in the room. This is going to lead to some interesting possibilities and it's going to take a little practice. Now, of course, you're only hearing yourself as well as the guide track, but you're only hearing yourself means we tend to do one thing. We tend to get really quiet. The hawks are under him. We tend to get very self-conscious when we hear that, when we hear ourselves sing like that. Mm -mm. Turn the volume up in your earphone. That's one trick. Get it nice and loud in your earphone so that when you sing, the hawk soars high, you want to put some power into it um, because you don't want to just kind of sound a little tentative. Just go ahead and blow the walls down. Go ahead and leave your neighbors bewildered. It's okay. Um, you need them bewildered anyway. Um, and again, uh, just to go back to what I said right at the very beginning, all of this is advice. It is not absolutely required. I'm just suggesting what you can do if you have access and things that we all can do uh, with our voices, such as singing out, uh, in order to make this work optimally. So please join me. I really look forward to hearing your voices all together. Thanks.